Hi and welcome to this edition of Mobile Tech Videos. I'm Josh, also known as Connection2005 on many of the forums that you may visit. Today we'll be talking about the three button combo and uh, how important it is and what it is, as well as how to mod it to a phone that doesn't have it uh, so that it can get you out of a jam uh, in case you don't have a jig. Uh, three button combo is really effective. It's almost as effective as a jig, but not every Captivate has it. Um, so we'll be talking about that today. Uh, so here we have two Captivates, both 1008 builds, both AT&T branded phones. Uh, this one here, if I plug it in, has the three button fix. And what I mean by that is if I hold volume down, volume up, and plug in the USB cable while it's plugged into the PC, I get trajected into to download mode. This is especially useful for when I'm ready to flash or I want to, uh, yeah, like flash stock firmware and uh, get my phone out of a jam or I'm, I'm ready to flash another ROM and I need to go back to stock and um, yeah there's other ways to do it I've got a download and recovery mode how to video out there you can check out uh, this is the three button fix though and you may see it and you may try it on your phone you could try it on your phone before you do this you need to anyways to see if you have it or you don't have it if you don't have it I really suggest that you do this um, here's a phone for example that won't do it so volume down volume up and power on the USB this phone is just going to go into the battery uh, standby mode. So that's actually quite annoying. Uh, it makes you have to use SDK tools if you can, and if you can't, then you're pretty much stuck using a jig, uh, which happens to a lot of people that brick. So I'm pulling the, uh, the battery out right now. <coughs> so uh, we're going to talk about how to flash that today and uh, you know go over the steps involved for doing that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and power the phone on and allow it to boot up and once it's booted I'll come back and we'll start the process okay once you've verified whether your phone is a three button fix or not and you wouldn't keep going unless it did not uh, you can go ahead and unlock your phone we're going to be talking about we're working with a rooted device right now uh, you need to have your phone rooted uh, see my root 2.1 or 2.2 video if you have not rooted at this time um, once you've rooted, we need to go ahead and install an application known as ROM Manager to flash this file. Uh, when you open it, we need to click Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery, pick your device. Uh, for more info on that exact procedure, we're not going to do it since we've already flashed ours, uh, just go check out my ROM video part, uh, probably 2 or 3 has that, I don't know, watch the whole thing, you should see it anyway. Um, and if you've seen it, then you know how to do this. But uh, once we've flashed Clockwork Mod for our device, we need to make sure that we've gone ahead and pulled over the file. So we're going to go into My Files and check. And uh, I went way too far. I don't know what I was thinking. Three would be at the top. So three button fix dot zip. There it is. Okay. And we can go back into ROM Manager and we want to choose Reboot into Recovery. Say okay. I want to make a note that this change will not hold if you flash back the stock with Odin. It will hold uh, if you ROM the phone. So say you went from this and ROM to Perception and then you flashed on top of that Perception with the latest Perception. It's going to stick, but the second that you turn it back to stock using Odin, you'll have to redo this. And uh, I know it's not perfect, but it's the ne next best thing. So it's not really that big of a deal to make that part of your uh, flashback to stock process because it takes literally no time. Um, so anyways, we're gonna, uh, once we get back into Clockwork Mod, we'll choose Install Zip, choose Zip, and we'll go to the bottom, since it's, Zips are always at the bottom, and we want to highlight three button fix, I'm using uh, volume buttons to toggle, and power button to select, and then of course we want to go say yes, power button to select, it does it, and in a moment it's going to finish, so now it's done, we want to go back, and reboot. So I'm gonna let the phone boot back up right now. I'll meet you once it's booted back up and we'll take the final step of checking and making sure that the flash was successful and that we've got three button fix. Okay our phone is booting back up. We're at this screen. Uh, the reason for the boot is I'm not 100% certain whether you can just turn the phone off and it's done. I wanted to flash back and turn it back on uh, to do that. But um, this is stock JF6, by the way. This is a freshly flashed Odin, so this does work on stock. Once it's up, uh, it seems kind of pointless, but we are going to turn it back off. This is the way I prefer to do it. And it really, you're talking about a second, so I mean, don't be lazy. Go ahead and turn it back on. Now we're going to power it off. 
Uh, obviously, the captivates. There's a there's a slight pause, so we'll wait a few seconds, and we'll slide open the battery door. Now we're gonna hold volume down, volume up, and plug in, and we should have download mode. There it is. So now we've launched in download mode instead of the battery mode. This phone, which didn't ship out of the box with three button fix, now has three button fix, and it's gonna hold three button fix as long as you don't flash back to stock. And if you do, then you just reflash what we just did and you'll always have it. And it's a really good alternative to download mode. It gives you that extra option when you need to get into download mode uh, versus using a jig or SDK tools or a custom ROM that has the download mode option. And it's especially handy because it gives you a secondary method to get into download mode from uh, a powered off standpoint. So that's a three button fix mod uh, brought to you by Mobile Tech Videos and MobileTechVideos.com. Uh, check out more videos on the channel, um, and please uh, subscribe if you appreciate the constantly updated content. Uh, we're working hard to get new videos out to you daily. Uh, we're starting to make a, a pledge to get one out per day, and we're looking forward to making this site something special, maybe something that people come uh, to rely on and trust. So, uh, once again, I say thank you, and uh, as always, good luck.